officer Frederick Dominguez released a video showing body cam footage of the incident that took place at the Pelican Hotel on Miami Beach on December 3rd. Now in the video, officers are seen standing around a menu stand when a man named Lowell Poitier Jr. approaches and you see the punch thrown there. He seemed to grab something off the top of the stand. Words were exchanged between Poitier and the officers before Poitier gets in the face of one officer named Adriel Dominguez who... guys on this thursday we're going to talk about the video clip that you just saw that's going to be our editorial today coming out of miami beach now i want to say as a preface <coughs> excuse me uh that there are good cops out there i know people say oh there are no good cops because if there are good cops they turn in the bad cops well the problem with being a whistleblower which is, i think is a good thing in most cases is that there's a punishment for it we're going to do an editorial today where a cop saw something and said, I don't like that. That wasn't right. And he says something and he's punished. But the cop that did the wrong thing was not punished. So that's the, you know, the, the old adage, you fuck up, you move up. You do good. Go back to the hood. You know, I, <clears throat> So you can't win. You just can't win. So we're going to jump into this editorial and you're going to see why a lot of times cops don't turn in other cops. It's not always because of the thin blue line that they're shoulder to shoulder. I've said that and I think maybe sometimes I've said that in error. I apologize if I was wrong because this editorial right here and I did another one just like this. Remember the other one where the cop said something and they put him on suspension. This is the same exact situation. Cops trying to say something. He's trying to do good. He gets punished. <coughs> the cop that did bad. Good job, buddy. Thank you, NBC Miami, for this story. Cell phone video released by a Miami Beach police officer in 2018 appeared to show a fellow officer, Adriel Dominguez, punching an unarmed black man, Lowell Poitier, knocking him out cold. Dominguez was suspended during an internal affairs investigation for hitting Poitier, but in October 2019, prosecutors cleared Dominguez of any wrongdoing. Recently, the officers who leaked the video were reprimanded instead. Attorney David Kubilian, who represents Lowell Poitier, said, quote, they did the right thing in order to protect our community and gave over this clear and convincing evidence to their supervisors, and they are reprimanded. So what kind of message are we sending? The officer, Alfredo Garcia, who recorded his body cam video on his cell phone, was given a written warning for violating policy of releasing unauthorized video. Attorney Michael P.C., said, God forbid other police officers like Frederick Dominguez came forward and exposed this and didn't think what was happening was correct. Attorney Michael PC represents Officer Frederick Dominguez, who sent a copy of the video to him and sought whistleblower protection. The officer was hit with a 10-hour suspension. His attorney, Pizzi, said, why should Fred Dominguez have to hire lawyers, appeal suspensions, and still be miserable two years later when all he did was tell the truth and expose what is a national problem? Pizzi says the officer he represents plans to fight the suspension. The initial incident happened outside a restaurant at the Pelican Hotel on Ocean Drive almost two years ago. According to the arrest report, restaurant managers called police on Poitier for disturbing patrons. Poitier was initially charged with resisting arrest without violence and disorderly conduct. Last July, those charges were dropped by the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office. Attorney David Kabilian, who represents Lowell Poitier, says they're not done fighting. Never stop. Never stop fighting till the fight is done. What do you say? What do you say? I said never stop fighting till the fight is done. Kabilian said, quote, we still have another avenue in the civil route. We will be filing a lawsuit against City of Miami Beach and City of Miami Beach Police Department in the near future.
NBC Miami reached out to Miami Beach Police Department and the city of Miami Beach, and they received the following statement from Chief Richard Clements of the Miami Beach Police Department, quote, I am satisfied with the state attorney's findings from 2019 where they deemed that Officer Adriel Dominguez had the right to protect himself from a perceived threat. I am equally satisfied with the subsequent outcome of our thorough internal affairs investigation. I am a firm believer in holding officers accountable <laughs> for inappropriate actions. I also believe in holding accountable those who come into contact with our officers contact and pose a threat to their safety. Jimmy Morales, city manager with the city of Miami Beach, said, quote, the 10 hour suspension for Officer Frederick Dominguez is a recommendation for discipline from the police department's disciplinary panel. Final discipline will be determined after Officer Dominguez is afforded the opportunity to have what is called a predetermination hearing. The purpose of the predetermination hearing is for Officer Dominguez to present any information to the city to warrant a possible change in the recommended discipline. Any actual discipline will be determined by the police department in conjunction with the city manager's office after the predetermination hearing. <laughs> Pursuant to the collective bargaining agreement between the city and the police union, Officer Dominguez can appeal any discipline that is ultimately handed down in the predetermination hearing. Oh, no, it's predetermined that he's going to have a predetermination hearing and he can appeal the predetermination hearing in his predetermined plan with his predetermined attorney. Um... <clears throat> No, I, I don't know. Did you guys get that? So I want to back up here and talk about something real quick. Chief Richard Clements says, he says, Dominguez had the right to protect himself from a perceived threat. Watch this video clip again. Police officer Frederick Dominguez released a video showing body cam footage of the end. Perceived threat? Really? Now, if you look, the guy's hands were down by his side. All he did was stop and say something. He either said, F you, or I'll knock you out, bitch, or you better not come to my neighborhood. Something like that. And he got knocked the fuck out. Perceived threat? He was like this, and he said something. All the officer had to do was take a step back and go, don't step up on me, sir. The officer could put his hands up. He's a cop, right? He can do anything he wants. Hey, don't step up on me, sir. I'll listen to you, but step back, and then you got to go. That's all he had to do. But he knocked the guy out. I had somebody getting up in my face. And I had a cop from San Bernardino City Police Department, corrupt as they are, threatened to arrest me for a felony. Because I told the guy, don't get in my face because I'll defend myself by knocking you the F out. And I was threatened with arrest for a felony. Guy does that to a cop. He gets knocked the fuck out and they go, great job, officer. You protected yourself from that threat. Somebody, re what? Somebody released the video? Put your foot in his ass. Reprimand him. Because he told on a cop that knocked somebody out for stopping and going. That's not a perceived threat. His hands were down by his side. That's somebody who's saying something to you. It's a perceived threat. So if I go, fuck you, bitch. That's a threat? I'll knock you out, huh? See, I protected myself from that threat. What the fuck? What are they teaching these cops in Miami Beach? These little pussies. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. Community Leo Watch. Watching Leos. That's law enforcement officers from coast to coast. On this Thursday. Thanks for watching guys.